Before the internet came along, you could tell a document was authentic if you signed it. And that's the subject of today's Idea of the Day. One of the most interesting things about email, in my opinion, is that it is literally like the Wild West online. Because there's almost no controls or safeguards on some of the most fundamental pieces of the internet. I mean, to this date, from the very beginning of the internet, the single most uh, used feature of the internet still remains email. Everybody gets email and a huge percentage of all internet traffic is still email going back and forth. But with all of that flexibility and that traffic going back and forth, one thing that's never changed is that there's virtually no true security on email. Case in point, if I wanted to right now uh, use a custom email sending program, or even use a program like Outlook, where you configure your settings, you have like your server um, IDs, you have a login ID and a password, you also get to define how your name appears when it gets sent. Meaning, if I sent an email to somebody and I didn't want them to know that it was coming from me, I could change it so it says this came from Bill Gates at Microsoft or some other email address. And the recipient would receive that email and might actually think I was Bill Gates because I got the email and it happened that way. I mean, we've seen it uh, in cases where you receive an e email that says it's from your friend. And of course, we know it turns out to be a virus. And you ask your friend at some point, say, well, look, some, I got an email that's got your name on it. And then they assume that that meant that, well, somebody breached their email account. And maybe when they breached the email account, they then sent mail there. Now they're concerned that somebody hacked into their email. But the reality is it's not how it happens. Most email providers have almost no security. So you can actually send an email that says it's from somebody when you didn't really send it if you follow what I'm saying. And that brings me to today's idea of the day. What I think is missing in email right now is the concept of a true signature, a true signature. There needs to be a, a protocol whereby you designate a handful of specific sending apps, like your phone, your iPhone, like if you're using Outlook or if you're using uh, even Gmail within the browser and you're logged in and you've got your 2D authentic, uh, excuse me, your two-phase two authentication, whatever your authenticated way of sending is, where you can establish a real signature. And I'm not talking about the signature that you see at the bottom, but some sort of a real signature that has some sort of a cer certificate system where they can authenticate that you were in fact the sender. And that you have a way of when you get that email to click on something there and go to some sort of authoritarian, some sort of authority that is, not authoritarian, some sort of authority that confirms that that signature was authentic. It, it, conf it, it links back to your information as it exists in the uh, in this data bank of, of, of certificates. It's sort of like what they do with uh, uh, websites with a, a certificate. So for today's idea of the day is there should be some sort of authenticated way of knowing when an email is received that it was sent by that person through some sort of certification process. It's almost like a certified mail that says this definitely came from the person you think it is. And that's today's idea of the day. All right, so that's today's idea of the day. I uh, hope you liked it. If you visit ideatoday.com, you'll see a new one every day. Every day. Yeah, some of them don't suck. And and don't forget to subscribe. And you can see them here every day. Brand new one. And, and some of my videos don't suck either. 